Good afternoon, Tazzy Stacker with you here on the coin carpet. Now I got some coins a while back that I haven't really shown anybody and I thought I would do that. Um, so, let's have a squiz here. First off is, now, Big Lori, God bless his heart, sent me this a while back. Just out of, you know, just, I commented on a, a chat one time about this particular coin because it's this huge, big, enormous oversized French crown um, and so he sent it to me which was just the most incredible thing ever um, and anyway I went to uh, the coin shop and I found here's a five franc 1963 uh, really nice you know nice coin there's also uh, a 10 franc version of this well, not of this, but there is a 10 franc coin, which is same metal content, same, you know, beautiful um, uh, images and what have you. You know, I thought, yeah, I'll continue with that. And then I got this uh, 1953 Panama Balboa. This is a half Balboa. Uh, and these puppies are 90% silver. And this one's 12.50 grams. And that's a really nice coin. Um, I prefer the older Balboas with the original, with the um, the seated lady on it. And they're beautiful, beautiful coins. And this one, which is a 1771 160 Reese from Brazil. These, this was minted in 1771, and is most likely probably minted in Lisbon and then shipped over to Brazil to be used as coinage. Um, yeah, that's, you know, and that's about, oh, you know, it's a bit thinner, and it's, no, it's, it's a bit, it, it's a bit thinner, and it's a bit smaller than this coin, so if that kind of gives you an idea, but it's, you know, that's a really nice coin. I like that one, too. Now, um, uh, the other day I, I uh, did a video about uh, not being bullied, you know, and stuff like that, and standing up for yourself, and you know, learning how to do things, and making yourself a better person, and all that. Not that I was, you know, I was kind of pissed off at the time, so you know, maybe it sort of came across a bit angry, but you know, hey. Um, and then somebody left a comment on my last vid. And so somebody has created a channel called Taz's Favorite Drink. Okay. I think it's obviously a reference to Uzo or something, which, you know, um, I've always hated Uzo. But see, here's the thing. I've been sober now two years, one month, 17 days. And maybe the asshat or asshats in question didn't un know that. But... Uh, to do something like that, I think, is, I mean, they might as well have just kicked me in the balls. Sorry, I'm going to use a little bit of bad language here. So, um, yeah, I don't understand why anybody would think that that was funny. Um, clearly, whoever did it had no idea um, what it's like to be a practicing alcoholic. Um and then to recover from that, uh, it's a struggle to not drink, and especially w what's been going on in the community lately, you know. But, you know, I just remind myself, dude, if you start down that path again, it's going to end up in tears, and there, there will be no good of it. So, you know, I'm, um, I'm certainly in no danger of going back to that. But, um, yeah, I don't know who this person or persons are, but that was the worst taste attempt at a joke that I had probably ever seen. Um, you know, I think they said something like, I've seen better box making benches. Well, you know, look, maybe that was meant to be funny, but guess what, it wasn't. Um, in fact, whoever did that, whether it's, you know, one person or several, um, yeah, I, I see you for what you are. You're a bully. And you know what I think about bullies, don't you? Yeah. Well, look, uh, that's all I had to say on that. I'm done. And um, 
See you next time. Thanks. Bye.